Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a vlog slash lifestyle update video. And in case you hadn't guessed by the title, uh, my wife and I are fostering to adopt. We're looking to add a new member to our family. So uh, let's just jump right into it. I'll tell you a little bit about him. He's two years old. His name is Amir. His favorite song is Teenage Dirtbag by the band Weedis. Odd choice, I know, but he won't stop requesting it. So what can you do? And he's been with us since October. So surprise. So you might be saying, hey, how come I've, I'm just hearing about this now and you never mentioned him in another video or anything? And the answer is, I'm a huge procrastinator. I meant to make an announcement video a while ago and I just never really got around to it. Other stuff kind of got in the way. Also, you might've found out about him if I had posted like to say Instagram or something, but you're actually not allowed to post images of a foster child to any type of social media. So if you do see him on my Instagram or something, well, you won't really see him. He'll be covered up by like, say, like a cute robot or something. In addition to the social media thing, there's actually a bunch of rules that come along with fostering a child. You can't actually leave the county without getting permission from either the court or the biological parents. And you have to have like a posted escape plan and a first aid kit, emergency kit, ready to go in case there's an earthquake or something. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, that my wife and I have been learning about in the classes we started taking before the pandemic. So th we, this has been in the works for a while. So we took the classes, we finished the classes, and then we had to do like home inspections and interviews and they're like, we'll send someone out to you. And then pandemic and they're like, uh, actually maybe we won't send someone out to you. Uh, maybe we'll do this remotely. And then we didn't hear anything for a while. And then they're like, okay, we are gonna send someone out, but they'll have masks on and we'll do temperature checks and stuff. So eventually we got all the stuff done that we needed to get done to become resource parents, which is the designation they give you when you've completed all the requirements that allow you to foster a child. So we got that done and then we waited to hear from the foster agency for when they would found a child that matches kind of the criteria we gave them, which was a boy between the ages of two and seven. So Tyler could have a brother. I had a brother. Worked out well for me. We figured Tyler would have a brother and also a child that was looking for a permanent home. So the biological parent or parents weren't looking to reunify, but rather place them with new parents, foster parents that would become adoptive parents. After that, a couple of months went by and we didn't really hear from the foster agency until one day we got a call out of the blue and they're like, hey, we think we found someone that matches your criteria. His name's Amir, he's two years old. Would you like to come meet him? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, we wanna come meet him. So my wife and I hopped in a car, we drove out to the playground and we met Amir. And we pretty much immediately fell in love with him. We started playing with him. He would do this adorable thing where there was this little ledge at the playground and he would walk up to the ledge and then he would look at me and then I would come up and put my arms behind him and kind of jump him off of the ledge and he'd like go wee and, and go to the ground. And then he'd run back around uh, up to the ledge and do it again. It was very adorable, you kinda had to be there. And they asked us, do you think Amir would be a good fit for you? And we're like, yes, we, we definitely think he would be a good fit for us. And about a week later, he came to live with us. As for where we're at right now, as I understand it, uh, we're currently foster parents, but we're looking to move into adoptive placement, which there's a court hearing for that. And then we find out the results of that court hearing. Once he's in adoptive placement, then they said it's about six months until we can permanently adopt him, which is what we're going for. And then once we finished the adoption process, he'll be an official member of the fam, the laser fam, the best fam in my opinion. Well, it's an opinion, but it's also objectively true. As for how Amir is adjusting here to life at Fort Lasercorn, he's doing really well. He loves his big brother Tyler. He wants to follow Tyler around, do whatever Tyler is doing, which is great. He's completely fearless. He will jump from any height, climb anything, tackle anyone. It's a little bit nerve wracking if you're trying to keep track of him, keep him from hurting himself, but I appreciate his bravery, I do. He's also very musical, as I mentioned before, loves Weedis. He will love to sit with my wife while she's playing piano. And if you tell him to do something he doesn't really wanna do, he might make up a little song about it, like, no, 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 no. He's actually come up with quite a few tasty jams. He's very strong-willed. If you tell him, you know, if he's doing something wrong and you're like, hey, you can't do that, time out, two minutes. He might turn and yell at you and be like, no, you time out two minutes, which is adorable because he's very stern, but he's also two. So when he points and, and tries to sound authoritative, it's very funny. My wife and I have to keep from laughing. So if you're wondering what made you decide to foster to adopt, it's something we've been talking about since just after Tyler was born. And we just thought it would be a really nice thing to do for a kid that you know needed a good home. We thought we could provide a good home. Plus as Tyler got older, he started asking for a brother. Then we moved to this house that had a little more space and all the pieces just kind of fell into place. So we did it. We pulled the trigger, we called the agency and we started the process. And overall, I think it's been a really positive experience. I would highly recommend it to other people thinking about fostering to adopt. Uh, however, I will say that 
it, your experience may vary. You know, it depends on the temperament of the kid, on the agency you're working with, the people you're working with, what your personal situation is. So just because things have worked out for me and my wife doesn't necessarily mean it's the right choice for you. It's something you really gotta think about. One other thing I wanted to address, cause I have a feeling it might pop up in the comments. People might ask, hey, are you gonna have any more kids, either biological or adopted? And the answer is no, we're done. We're done. I heard once that having more than two kids is like switching from man to man defense to zone. Cause then they outnumber you. And that sounds kind of terrifying. So we feel like our family is complete and we will have everything officially complete once the adoption goes through. And then yeah, and then we're good to go. You know, I'm really glad I got this vlog out of the way. I've been procrastinating for a while, as I mentioned, and it actually got me in trouble a little bit on my Twitch stream. I was like, well, if I gotta end this Twitch stream, gotta put the kids to bed. And people are like, oh, the kids? And I'm like, oh yeah, Tyler's having a sleepover play date. So gotta go do that, bye. So now I can feel like I can stop like hiding it and stuff. So that'll be great. All right, that about wraps it up. I do talk about this subject and a bunch of other random stuff on a podcast I did with Ninja Brian and Late Night. So you can go ahead and check that out by clicking over here or check out me playing Ghost Castle with the gang over here. And that's it. If you have questions, I'll be in the comments. I'll try to answer as many of those as I can. And I'll see you all next time.